The Grand Rapids City Commission calling for an end to the Iraq War tonight. 24-hour News 8's Tony Taliavia was at tonight's meeting. He joins us live with this story now. Tony. Good evening, Sue. This all started with a local group asking this local unit of government to wade into a national policy question. And tonight, the city of Grand Rapids City Commission is on the record opposing continued U.S. involvement in the war. Now, there was some opposition among commissioners. More on that later. But first, we asked Rick Tormala, the commissioner who helped draft this resolution, why the city should get involved in an issue like this one. We know we're not members of Congress. We know that, that what we say here is not going to affect real policy change in Iraq. But what we're saying to the federal legislators is you're spending billions of dollars on the war. What about the cities? That's an area where we are experts in. So after months of deliberation and even a public forum in Grand Rapids on the war, commissioners took up a resolution expressing opposition to it. The resolution expresses support for the courage and commitment of troops, but asks that they be returned home in stronger language after an amendment passed. Be it further resolved that the Grand Rapids City Commission calls upon the U.S. government to establish clear and aggressive timelines for the full transfer of governmental decision making and internal security to the legitimate government of Iraq and withdraw U.S. troops from the country. Originally, the resolution said the city would put in place a program to give veterans a preference on city contracts like construction, but that was taken out. This document is intended not to set, not to set policy for the city of Grand Rapids, but to uh, state our mind on this important matter. Commissioners instead agreed the city would consider implementing such a program. The overall resolution was not without opposition among commissioners. The issues I get called on are this week are trash pickup and... And I get called on snow plowing and ice, and uh, I think that's what we need to, to concentrate on. Commissioner Schmidt there said he did personally oppose the war. He was the only one to vote against this. It passed nearly unanimously. So what is next? Well, we talked there about a possible city ordinance giving veterans preference on city contracts. Commissioners say they'd like to take that up within a matter of weeks. Live at City Hall, Tony Taliavia, 24-Hour News 8.